Hello and today we'll be checking out the Magento to take orders on WhatsApp uh, plugin uh, along with the notifications to the customers and uh, today we'll be showing you the workflow of this particular plugin and uh, before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from our end and do like this particular video if you find this helpful so uh, let's get ahead and uh, basically using this plugin uh, your customers can now purchase the products directly using the whatsapp account so uh, we have provided this purchase on whatsapp uh, uh, button that uh, can be used by the customers if they tap on this particular uh, purchase on whatsapp button they'll be redirected to the web login for their uh, whatsapp so the customers just need to uh, set up their uh, mobile number under their account panel on which they'll be receiving uh, or, or the uh, details there so for that you just need to navigate to uh, the account so right now I've logged into my customer account so I'll just navigate to my account section and here you just need to uh, enter your uh, telephone number so I'll just scroll it down so here's the whatsapp number so here you need to enter your whatsapp number that would be used for the web login and to receive uh, the uh, options there within your whatsapp so as to place the orders and choose the shipping as well so uh, this is where you will set up your uh, whatsapp number as a customer and uh, now let's go back to the product uh, there and uh, apart, apart from that the admin can also send out the notifications to the buyers whenever an order undergoes an event like the uh, place shipped or cancelled so right now we are on the product page i'll also show you the product uh, listing page and the wave card page so here the admin has the option to uh, uh, enable the add to cart button as well along with the purchase on whatsapp uh, button it depends upon the configuration that has been set by the admin from the uh, plugin configuration settings so right now on the product page we have the purchase on whatsapp button as you can see and if i tap on that it will redirect us for a web login there uh, right now i don't have the access uh, to uh, check the whatsapp on my system so uh, that's why i'm not uh, able to check the same so uh, I'll just show you. So here you can see that we have the uh, web WhatsApp and uh, the telephone number is there as well. So uh, coming back to the product page here, we have the purchase on WhatsApp. We can set uh, the add to cart button along with it as well. Now uh, let's go to the product listing page. So here we are on the product listing page uh, or we are on the key product section. And here if I scroll uh, my mouse or the uh, products, you'll be able to see the add to cart along with the uh, purchase on WhatsApp uh, button. So add to cart would allow the customers to directly add the products to the cart and make a checkout. Otherwise they can purchase uh, the product from the WhatsApp as well very easily by tapping here on the WhatsApp uh, uh, icon. So I'll just show you how we can also uh, disable the add to cart button on the listing page as well. And uh, we can all, we'll also be showing you how we can disable the, uh, uh, what we say as the proceed to checkout button within the cart here as you can see. And if I go to the view and edit cart right now, so uh, let me go to that particular page here as well you can see uh, within the shopping cart itself here we don't have the uh, proceed to checkout button we can enable that as well i'll show you that as well and here we also have the purchase on whatsapp button now after tapping on the purchase uh, on our whatsapp button will be redirected to the web login and let me show you the further uh, process there also can you note that a registered user as well as a guest user can purchase the products on the whatsapp so it's if uh, if it's a registered one you just need to tap here and you'll be logged into your whatsapp web if you're a guest user you need to enter so, uh, some details there uh, like your telephone number as well so i'll just show you that in a moment from now so first let's see uh, uh, all right let's see uh, it for a guest user first so i'll just log out of my customer account first so here i'm on the products uh, listing page and uh, right now you can see as a guest user i'm only able to see the purchase on whatsapp uh, button if i log in i'll be able to see the add to cart button as well now let's see the process for the uh, for the guest user how we can purchase the products uh, using the whatsapp so uh, we can do it from the listing page as well or uh, from the uh, product page as well so if i go to the product page i have this uh, purchase on whatsapp button here as well so as a guest user i'll just tap on the purchase here i'll be entering my details as you can see here uh, i'll have to enter my phone number uh, my uh, whatsapp number and then we'll have to tap here on the checkout on whatsapp and the offer will be redirected to the web login for the uh, whatsapp wherein the guest user would be able to place the order for this particular product so uh, let me tap uh, cancel on that 
so that was about the uh, guest user and if i go back here we can uh, do it from the listing page as well and uh, now let's log into the customer account by tapping here on the sign in button let's see the uh, how the uh, registered customer would be able to do the same and after entering the details i just tap here on the uh, sign in button so we are logged into the customer account here at the top you can see that we have logged in now from here you, now you can see that we have the add to cart button as well the we have the whatsapp icon here so if i tap here on the uh, purchase on whatsapp we'll be redirected to the web login and uh, after logging to the uh, web account as you can see for the particular product we'll have the uh, details here and uh, here you can see the product name the store address uh, the request number the product name the quantity price and the address of the customer and here you can see we have an automatic response please provide your email address so after entering the email address by the customer uh, he'll receive one uh, uh, response there and thereafter he'll be able to see uh, the order summary as well as you can see here along with the subtotal the shipping the tax the grand total for the particular product as you can see thereafter the customer will uh, receive the option to select the uh, payment method and after choosing the payment method by entering the particular number there uh, the order will be successfully placed using the whatsapp itself so that's how this particular plugin helps the customers to place the orders using the uh, whatsapp as, as well so uh, do remember that we have the option to uh, hide the add to cart button as well on the uh, uh, on the listing page on the uh, product page and uh, within the cart as well as i've already shown you so in a moment from now we'll be checking the backend configurations where i'll be showing you how we can enable or disable these things and while we are doing that i'll just show you the front end as well so let's hop onto the admin backend panel for this particular plugin now so right now i've already logged into my magento 2 platform based web so backend panel and uh, after login and the auto successful installation we'll be making the initial configuration settings so we'll be navigating to stores and then configuration also kindly know that we need to have an account at Twilio and we need to register the uh, Twilio number that would be used to send out the uh, notifications to the customers and uh, uh, for that you need to create an account you can check the user guide within that we have given the complete description of how to generate the Twilio WhatsApp number there and how to get the uh, Twilio account uh, session ID and the authentication token that needs to be configured in the plugin backend panel now here under the web cool block we have the whatsapp uh, bot as you can see so the customer just needs to choose uh, the uh, option there uh, to purchase it on the uh, whatsapp they are logged into their whatsapp uh, account thereafter uh, they can uh, chat with the bot uh, there by entering their email address and selecting the uh, first receiving the response then selecting the shipping and then making a checkout there or the payment method basically and uh, now let's go back to the configuration so here you'll set up your twilio whatsapp number uh, you'll set up the twilio account sid the authentication token choose whether uh, to ha enable the debugging mode or not so that's the general settings so within the uh, user guide you'll be able to see how to set up the uh, twilio account and you can go through uh, the steps there how to sign up and how to verify the account and uh, after the verification how to set up your trial how to activate your sandbox account how to set up the whatsapp sand uh, sandbox uh, configuration within the same and uh, thereafter you'll be receiving confirmation text on your device as you can see here so uh, let me show you that so here is uh, the chat is with the business account so here you can see the details of the same uh, and uh, that's how you can set up your uh, twilio whatsapp account there so this is uh, the sandbox one you can uh, generate the uh, uh, credentials for the production mode as well by choosing the plans at twilio itself uh, you can also set up uh, to send a one-way message or a two-way messaging can also be set up as per your own requirement there and after you've uh, configured your credentials say you'll be able to generate uh, the uh, credentials as you can see by creating a product project first and there you'll have your account SID and the authentication uh, token as you can see that would then be required here to be entered now let's come to the product web page settings so this is the product web page so if I come back here let's go to this particular product web page so right now here you can see that uh, we have the purchase on whatsapp uh, button uh, itself right now now coming back uh, here 
So uh, we can enable this functionality of uh, purchase on WhatsApp uh, on the product page by choosing this option as a yes, otherwise choose it as a no. You can set up the button text or the title that will be visible to the customers and the same is visible here within the cart and on the product pages as well. Purchase on WhatsApp, you can change uh, this particular uh, 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 text here within for this particular button that we have then uh, here you can choose uh, to hide the add to cart button on the uh, product view page so right now you can see that uh, on the product view page we don't have the add to cart button now if uh, i choose this as a no then uh, uh, the add to cart product uh, add to cart uh, button would be visible on the product view page uh, as well so let me show you that let's uh, save this particular setting for the uh, product view page uh, settings by choosing the option to uh, make visible the add to cart button as well by choosing the hide add to cart button as no and let's come to the product page and let me refresh this page once all right we'll just check that in a moment now let's come to the product list uh, page uh, settings so uh, if i go back uh, to the storefront and if i go to my uh, product listing page so this is the product listing page here we can enable or disable the add to cart button on the uh, listings here so uh, here you can see that hide add to cart button has been set as no so therefore we have uh, the add to cart button available and if we choose this as a yes then the uh, add to cart button would be removed from here so uh, i've chosen this as yes we can also set up the uh, label text for this uh, uh, listing page as well where we can see this uh, uh, purchase on uh, whatsapp button so uh, let me save the configuration and uh, now this add to cart would be button would be removed from the listing page uh, here so uh, let me refresh the page once so uh, whenever a guest user comes and uh, we have set uh, the hide to hide add to cart button as yes at that time uh, the add to cart button would be removed and you can already see the purchase on whatsapp button as you can see right now and now uh, the customer can only uh, purchase it on whatsapp and cannot add it to the cart there and the same goes uh, for the cart itself if i add uh, so right now the uh, customer or the user cannot add the product to the cart and uh, if we set it as no and uh, tap here in the save button and the add to cart button would be again visible now let's go back to the configuration settings and let me scroll down and uh, coming to the cart page settings here we can enable the uh, purchase on whatsapp button for the cart page as well we can send out the button text title that would be visible within the uh, cart page so here if i add this product to the cart so here you can see that right now we don't have the proceed to uh, check out button and if i tap here on the view and edit cart we'll have the uh, purchase on whatsapp uh, button visible within the view and edit cart itself so here you can see that we can purchase it on the whatsapp directly now so uh, so you can also hide the proceed to check out button as well uh, by choosing a yes otherwise if you want to allow the proceed to check out button you can choose this option as a no and uh, uh, at that time uh, the proceed to check out button would be visible here as well now coming down to the auto management notification settings here uh, uh, the first option is required whatsapp number attribute front end so if this option is enabled then the input field would be required on customer edit and uh, checkout page otherwise you can choose a no for this uh, required whatsapp number option then we have the attribute label at the storefront that would be visible to the uh, customers uh, or the users whatsapp number that needs to be entered so this uh, is for the uh, guest users so uh, let me show you that and uh, let me log out of the uh, customer account and let's go back to the uh, key product section here that we have and uh, from here uh, you can see if i tap here on the purchase uh, on whatsapp button and we need to add uh, our uh, address and here we have the whatsapp number as you can see so uh, to enable this particular functionality uh, required whatsapp number attribute at the front end you need to choose this as yes you can set up the attribute label for the front end here the whatsapp number you can change that as well as for your own requirement there and accordingly that particular label would be visible here at the whatsapp number that you have then we have the enable order place notification so you can choose a yes for enabling the order place notification otherwise to disable choose a no 
you can choose the order place notification message that would be sent out so here you can see how you can uh, enter the details of the same then you can enable the invoice notification uh, whenever the invoice is generated you can enable an uh, invoice notification uh, there and you can enable that up from here and you can set up the auto invoice notification message that would be sent to the customer you can also uh, set up the enable shipment notification though these notifications should be sent out on the whatsapp itself to the customer and uh, here you can set up the shipment notification whether the order has been shipped or not same goes for the when the invoice is uh, generated when the order is placed lastly we have the enable auto cancellation notification so if it's uh, enabled then the auto cancellation notification would be sent out to the customer if the customer cancels the order from the whatsapp itself and lastly you just need to tap here in the save configuration button to save the whatsapp bot uh, con configuration for this particular plugin itself also i just wanted to show you on the uh, product page uh, whenever uh, the add to cart button is enabled it uh, uh, gets visible like this and to cart is visible along with the purchase on whatsapp uh, button this is in the case if on the product page we have disabled the add to cart button uh, this is when we have disabled the add to cart button on the listing page only the purchase on whatsapp is visible this is when we have enabled the add to cart along with the purchase on whatsapp button uh, as well on the listing page uh, this is when we have enabled the proceed to check out for the uh, cart itself and this is uh, for the web and edit cart where we have disabled the uh, proceed to checkout button otherwise if we have enabled the proceed to checkout for the uh, button there uh, for the cart page then the proceed to checkout button would be visible along with the purchase on whatsapp button itself so uh, that was much about the magenta to take orders on uh, whatsapp along with the uh, order notifications like the order place cancel and the invoice generation and i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of this particular plugin if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then you can kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com. Please do give it a thumbs up if you like this particular video. And uh, thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.